Excuse me. Robbo, you've got to let go, buddy. Bussy, what about Glasgow? That was so 2014. Listen, mate, jump in the car. Bud, I've got something for you. Welcome to Run Jump Chuck, where we'll be taking you through the whole of the Australian Athletics Tour. Robbo, mate, uh, exciting times ahead. Look, Mossy, this is very exciting. Uh, as far as I make it, this is the only Australian weekly athletics wrap-up show, and uh, it's great to be back in the saddle with you as, uh, as we, here we are at the Blue Studios once again. And uh, obviously the season, uh, there's been plenty of things going on in the off-season, mate. So we've got plenty looking forward to, but uh, there's been a lot happening. Yep, there has been. I got down there for the Zatapec 10, mate. That was fantastic in Melbourne. Uh, but this weekend, Mossy, it's all set up for a huge Australia Day long weekend. All Every sport under the sun is having a good crack, but athletics is no different. And we're heading down to Hobart. More on that a little bit later on. But Mossy, overall, I'm, I'm finding it's really interesting times for the sport of athletics, especially here in Australia, but also worldwide. Uh, it's a bit of a wind of change at the moment. Uh, we saw coming off Glasgow, uh, the head coach, uh, he was out the door. The CEO's moved on. The head coach well. of Glasgow? No, the head coach of, a, of the Australian... I thought you might have been talking about Celtic or Rangers. No, no, the Australian Athletics team. And Mossy, uh, I haven't received a knock on the door yet, but I know, you know, I've a couple of pretty handy candidates for those two roles. Have you had a call yet? Yes, I've been uh, headhunted. Have you? For, I have for both positions. They're yeah. looking at a dual position. Oh, on hey, the, that's very yeah. smart. Just the one desk. Well, I am pretty smart. That's good. Well, looking forward to that, but Mossy, something that you said uh, about 12 months ago has really stuck, and I think the sport, if it's got any future into the 21st century, needs to remember these, this critical message. There are three things, Robbo, when it comes to athletics. It's a very simple thing. Run, jump, chuck. Ah. Run, jump, chuck. You're already throwing it out there, have you? Well, I was going to say, oh, is, is colouring, dyeing your hair pink, another one of them? It could well be. Well, there you go, Robbo. We've set the scene. Run, jump, or chuck for the whole of the season. It's what the show's all about. Listen, mate, why don't we cast our mind back to the last stop, and that was over in Glasgow for the Double X Commonwealth yes. Games. Oh. Mate, unreal. As you can tell, I've still got the shirt on. You I haven't think... got over it, buddy. You have to get <laughs> I, over it. I definitely haven't got over it. It happened in uh, July, August. Here we are in January the next year, and it's still very much... Uh, front and centre of my mind. Mossy, uh, if you will oblige, I just want to show you one little clip. This was one of the standout moments of the entire Games. So obviously, Robbo, that must have been the highlight for Sally Pearson getting a cuddle off you and I. Oh, I'm sure it was. And uh, look, I promise that'll be the last time we show it on this episode anyway, Mossy. But a uh, little thing that I'm concerned about, uh, people may have seen watching back home. We missed this, and I only saw it quite recently. Uh, a little incident that happened in the Channel 10 studios post-race interview that Sally took part in. You um, ran over to your husband, yeah, to celebrate. I know you were watching out. Um, no, that was, uh, not, that was not the first one. Were you, were you, were you snapped one of them? You snatched the flag. That wasn't a flag. I don't know if that was off. Well, you snatched the flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever it was. <laughs> I put a guesswork there, but you yeah. snatched the flag off. Someone got straight into yeah. it. Did the lap. Um, I don't know if you've seen too many pictures of this. Uh, the, the fans, just how excited they were to have you anywhere near them <laughs> and posing. And... <laughs> Well, Robbo, blow me down with a feather. I tell you what, Sally Pearson, we're coming to you. We have got a bone to pick. Yeah, look, not only did she steal our flag, uh, she blatantly denied us on national TV and uh, not happy, Mossy. So, yeah, definitely we're going to have to sit down and have a long, hard chat 
with Mrs. Pearson next time we do catch up. Tell you what, Rob, plenty of news going on in the world of athletics, like you mentioned there, that has happened over the off-season. But uh, more recently, what's been happening in the last couple of weeks? Look, just this week, Mossy, outrage from Russia. We're not surprised to hear of yet another uh, doping case from a Russian walker. They, listen, Robbo, they love their drugs over two, there. Well, they love two things. They love to walk and they love to dope. And, and what uh, about vodka? Well, that's three things, sorry, <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I think there's a couple of Russians over there doing a show called... Uh, uh, walk, dope, uh, drink vodka. <laughs> and so I uh, look out for that coming soon uh, through channels in Moscow. But Mossy, uh, speaking of Moscow, uh, look, big, big news because Jared Talent, he has a dirty, dirty taste in his mouth. He has had for a long time, as has the entire international walking community. Uh, he was robbed of a rightful gold medal in London, not to mention many other uh, titles over the years, World Cup. So Look, we need to see justice done. Justice for Jared. Get on that hashtag. Get him home. We need to uh, get that gold medal uh, reinstated to our Jared talent. Mossy as well. The show's called Run, Jump, Chuck. Before all you walkers ring into the show and have a go at us, yes, you are included. Uh, we all know, Mossy, walking is just a uh, disguised form of running. And uh, look, we love the walkers. You are very much a special part of the athletics community. And we look forward to seeing you around the traps this season. But let's just keep it between us, Robert. They do run. They don't walk. Oh, look, when the judges aren't looking, bang. If you, you want know. to walk fast, obviously you've got to be on drugs. Now, Robbo, uh, you saw there in the opening credits there, mate. Uh, I went and picked you up in the car. We're going to have a segment uh, this season. It's called In the Car with Mossy. Each week I'll be uh, interviewing within a car all the way around Australia a different member of the athletics family. And I thought, why not uh, come to one of the newest members of it? It's none other than one of my great mates, Mr. Dave Robbo. So the Naked Runners moved on, mate. Uh, I think... It came down to Hunter Track Classic. That's actually where we started to delve into a little bit of commentary. First year, I think you and you were in the field. I'd done it a year or two beforehand. You were out in the field, and I was um, the MC, which I continued to do. Yep. How much of a blast was that to get involved? It was, with? No, it was incredible uh, to interview and meet Danny Samuels. Yeah, that was worth admission for me. And I, we had a, had a lot of fun that, that night, Mossy. That was really my first foray into uh, live athletics and commentary of it. And I think, yeah, we, we both sort of looked at each other. It was all just doing it for free back then. And uh, we looked at each other after it and said, that's pretty good. Um, we might, you know, we might stick at this. And it's moved on and progressed. And each year, the Hunter Track Classic, we've been going back to it and uh, getting more and more involved each year. And it's turned into this little live stream beast now, which uh, kicked off last year in, in 2014. We're about to do the the next one, which is next week. And mate, uh, imagine yeah. if you had a set back in uh, 2011 on that run. You know what? In you know four years, oh, yeah, we're four going years. to be uh, athletics family, a big part of that, and doing live streaming of their events. You would have just kicked yourself and said, no, nah, no chance. Yeah, look, and you know it's an interesting one as well, athletics. Uh, running, jumping, throwing, or chucking as we like to say. Uh, you can argue one of the most purest of, of sports It is, ever. not one of, it's it is the, the purest sport. And here's the other thing, it used to be done naked, so it brings us back full circle to the naked runners, but, you know, athletics, it's all about moving, getting things, um, getting the body moving, using the body, and, and so it really does tie in with, with our overall message of getting more people moving more often, or go yeah. Um, so this athletics world is just another way of, of trying to um, get that message across and, and be part of that and hopefully uh, celebrate the athletes and what they're doing and, and they can uh, then help inspire others to get moving. Well Mossy, what a treat. I'm loving the concept already. Uh, you picked a great first guest, I've got to say. Riveting viewing there and I can't wait to see who you can, can cajole to getting into that car with you next. Well, my next step is to get my license. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wondered about that. Yeah, exactly. Say. Now, this week, uh, Robbo, we're heading down south to a place I've never been before, Tasmania, down there. Can't in, believe that, Yeah, Mossy. it's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, made sure I got myself uh, the passport ready to rock. Is this your final state or territory? No, I haven't been to uh, Northern Territory right. either. Oh, well. Darwin, now, Darwin Track Classic, that's coming next year. Now, there's two things that it, uh, Tasmania is famous for, okay? It's famous for the Tassie Tossers and it's famous for the Briggs Athletics Classic. Well, Mossy, you're very right there. In particular, uh, Mr. Graham Briggs, the great late Graham Briggs, who the meet is named after. Now, he pioneered athletics and TV coverage at the 82 Commonwealth 
games, uh, the first time a big meet was shown on the telly. So we think it's quite fitting that we head down there and, and uh, host the first ever live stream uh, of a Briggs Athletics Classic. First time the Briggs will be taken to the world and uh, absolutely can't wait for that. But Mossy, what about last year? I mean, I shouldn't say it's the first time. It, we actually, it'll be the second time because we, you and I and Leachie, our good mate, uh, took on the challenge of doing an almost live stream uh, from here at the Blue Track in Newcastle. We covered the meet and uh, let's have a little uh, taste of it just here now. Before we start to launch into tonight's almost live stream, it's unfortunate we thought we were going to be uh, trackside today, but uh, we got a little bit, bit of a mix up. Missed the flight. Well, we thought it was actually here at the Blue Track. We thought they'd uh, located Briggs Blue Track for the 25th year. Yep. Uh, obviously turned up to the wrong place. Where we're meant to be is down there in Tasmania, as you see the map of Tassie just over there. So uh, a little bit disappointing, but that's the way things roll. Big move. An exciting race on offer here with 150 metres to run. It's Tui in front. Next hit, Tasmanian got the challenge with Zach Patterson. Rose still there. Still got half a chance, but it's really Tui just in front. Hanson will try to go into the Tasmanian. Can he do it? It's Tui in front. He has a nonchalant look to his side. Patterson looks to challenge him. Tui in front. Tui hanging on. He's going to win the 1500 at the Briggs Athletic Classic. From Patterson, Hanson and Rowe. Not too far away, Matthews. And also close up there was Riley Shaw as they come through the line. What a race there and what a win to Nick Tui from Queensland. Well, there you go, Robbo. That's exactly how you host a live stream when you're not there. And it felt like uh, I was in a, uh, a tab listening to the Greyhounds call. Well, it was. And Grant Penny, as you heard, they're calling the uh, men's 1500 metres, did an outstanding job. Uh, can't wait to get down there this year and host the actual live stream. And we'll see Grant in action. He's uh, doing the calling once again. Can't wait. Uh, Mossy... We'll have to take you up Mount Wellington while we're down there. Yeah, looking forward to it, mate. Uh, now, talking about all the action, there's going to be plenty of run, jumping and chucking. What's sort of taken your eyes this weekend? Well, Mossy, uh, last year, as we showed at the Almost live stream, the men's 5,000 metres, the final event of the night, very, very exciting. All these elite distance athletes, they've been up at Falls Creek, uh, just running up and down all the tracks and mountains up there, getting fit, getting some altitude training. Now they come down, many of them only in the last couple of days. They'll cash in on that little bit of altitude uh, uh, effect and we'll see them take on the uh, 12 and a half laps of the Domain Athletics uh, Centre but look there's talk of Brett Robinson he won the uh, Zatopec uh, 10 uh, late last year, he's looking red hot and could well take it out but I can't go past this young uh, handsome rooster as you can see there, none other than the saint himself Benny Saint and uh, that's him posing nude and if I think, uh, I think if Benny comes armed with this uh, outfit to run in Come Sunday night, he'll be very, very tough to beat. Now, there's going to be plenty of other action down there. Now, in the jumping, mate, uh, I'm extremely excited because uh, to see this young lady last year qualify for the Commonwealth Games was one thing, and then to see her actually uh, miss out through injury was very disappointing, not just for her, but the whole of the athletics community. Uh, mate, we're going to see none other than... Yep, young Brooke Stratton makes her comeback at the Briggs. She was there last year. She's back again this year, returning from that injury, which uh, unfortunately was devastating news to, uh, to hear that. So we wish uh, Brooke all the very best, and I uh, can't wait to see her getting some good length in that sand pit down there in Hobart. Now, the show's not called Run, Jump, Robbo. It's no. called Run, Jump and Chuck. And uh, some would say down there in Tasmania, they are the epicentre of chucking in the world. Well, of tossing. They've actually got a new word for it. And the Tassie tosses, as you mentioned at the top of the show, are synonymous with the chucking community. And uh, that's, where, that's their habitat, their natural habitat down there at the foot of Mount Wellington and uh, the Peacock family, uh, Evan Peacock and the youngsters, uh, Hugh and Hamish. They'll be throwing all sorts of things. You know, their house, they've got broken windows. They never have a, uh, uh, an unbroken window in the Peacock house. They're always throwing stuff. They were throwing stuff since they were in the cot, throwing all the toys out of the cot. Uh, Mum and Dad soon realised they had a pretty handy talent for this, and they're still throwing to this day. And, and when we, you don't mean a Jared talent, do you? No, no, no. This is different t kind of talent. That's right, throwing talent or chucking talent. And I predict this time we're going to see a, a race to see who can throw something onto Mount Wellington uh, itself. I've heard. Sorry, the... sorry. I'm going to have to hold you up there, Robbo. You said throw. It's chuck. chuck. Sorry, the chuckers. And so yeah, Hugh with his hammer. And uh, and Hamish with his spear or javelin. Who can get that uh, that the furthest chuck? And we, I can't wait to see it. Uh, actually, um, Hamish Peacock threw a PB not that long ago. I'm predicting 86.86 meters for uh, young Hamish to take out the win. But he's got to take on Stewie Farquhar, the Kiwi, and he can throw. He can chuck 
uh, at Very Far Qua, let me tell you, Mossy. Now, Run, Jump, Chuck is the uh, show, as we've mentioned a few times. Uh, each week, we're actually going to ask you, Robbo, to trawl your way across the internet, almost like a troll, uh, and find uh, like a play of the week. So Run, Jump, Chuck of the week. So you've got an opportunity, whether it's in Zimbabwe, whether it's in Zatapec, yep. uh, or right here in Australia. What have you got for us this week, champ? Yes, well, mate, yeah, very much in the essence of the, uh, the old sports tonight, play of the day, and I couldn't go any further. I've done a bit of trawling over here, and I've found some absolute gold you and i actually happened to be lucky enough to be trackside you were calling this when it happened and uh this was very very special i'm talking about none other than young victoria mitchell and a little accident she had in the water jump so uh, i uh i i'd love to see vic win this it's going to be awesome so flanagan with the kiwi 930 is the a qualifier and we just saw there mitchell stumbled so she's going to have to go out looks like rosa flanagan out in front Oh, this is a turn up at Vic Mitchell coming home. Rosa Flanagan, the 18 year old from New Zealand, coming over the final steeple. Vic Mitchell coming from way back. She tripped at the final water jump, but look at this as she storms over the line. Vic Mitchell come back there, unofficial time of 9.56.25, which is a B qualifier. I mean, I, I've fell in races before and uh, to fall and get back, you know, in the last 200, probably in the last 150 is so tough to do and um, it just shows how strong she was. She would have, you know, would have finished even better if obviously she didn't do that. But she's so tough, Vic, and I know her pretty well. And yeah, she's going to get there for sure. She'll get that A qualifier. You sure she just didn't do that to have a shower before she uh, finished up? I, I think the comeback was just brilliant there, though. It's the unofficial time, 9.56.25. Vic Mitchell, we salute you. Well, that's all we've got time for this week on Run, Jump, Chuck. Don't forget to join us on the live stream for the Briggs Athletics Classic. You can tune in online or on your mobile. And don't forget, Robbo, as always, run, jump and... Chuck!